Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special treat. We are going to talk about nuclear submarines and the amount of waste and the amount of radiation that is created by a nuclear submarine and how that radiation and waste is created as opposed to a nuclear power plant. Now, first I would have to describe to you how a nuclear power plant works. And this is all verifiable. And then I will explain to you how a nuclear submarine works. And this is certainly verifiable. Okay, a nuclear power plant uses 3% enriched uranium. And then that is what operates the reactor. Now, all the superstructure that you see around a nuclear power plant is to house the steam and water that is boiled from the nuclear power plant itself. When that turbine pushes the water through the reactor core, which is about the size of that house there, it creates steam and then all the superstructure and all the thousands of acres that the nuclear power plant is on is designed to contain the steam and the water. Uh, for instance, I've been in Turkey Point. I had a, a tour of Turkey Point nuclear power plant um, that no one could ever get again back in 1997 because a friend of mine worked on a nuclear submarine and he got me into the power plant being the soup, one of the supervisors at Turkey Point in Homestead, Florida. So that 3% enriched uranium creates all that energy. And then all that superstructure is designed to suppress the steam. However, so, and that's what protects the environment from the steam generated nuclear power plant. Now, however, a nuclear submarine, now remember, the nuclear power plant is 3% enriched uranium. A nuclear submarine operates on 95% enriched uranium, okay? And it has no such safeguards as a nuclear power plant. And the nuclear power plant in a nuclear submarine is 28 times more powerful than a nuclear power plant on land because it operates on 95% enriched uranium. So where does, where, is, where does all that nuclear waste go? Well, it goes through the core and the core of a nuclear power plant, my buntag, the core of a nuclear power plant on a nuclear submarine or a nuclear aircraft carrier is not much bigger than a garbage pail and it, it operates at more efficiency and more power than a nuclear power plant that is the size of power plant core that is the size of that house. So 95% enriched uranium going through that little power, little nuclear core, about the size of me, maybe a little smaller. And all the waste, all the steam goes straight into the ocean. And that's why you are seeing the whales and the fish die-offs in certain areas of the ocean because what happens is that nuclear submarine will go through a section of water where there is fish and when when they're in the process of under high power some of those nuclear submarines are supposed to be able to go 30 knots 40 knots some say 60 knots underwater hard to believe but but who knows um, there's no way of knowing even though that my friend was on the nuclear submarine, he, he told me it goes more than 40 knots, and I believe them, but I can't prove that. But moving past that, all of that nuclear waste is going straight out the back of the nuclear submarine. There is no redundancy system that you see thousands of acres uh, on the nuclear power plant, thousands of acres to house the waste. On a nuclear submarine, that shit just goes straight into the ocean. Now that's one reason for the fish die-offs and maybe the whale die-offs and of course we have Fukushima.
but when it's in an area that has nothing at all to do with Fukushima, like in a Great Lake or in the Great Lakes, well, that could be DuPont. I mean, no one knows what DuPont does with their waste. And it could be not DuPont. It could be something a chemical company dumped into the ocean itself 35 years ago, and the barrel just decided to give way, and one or two barrels left open. And what happens is, my buntag. What, one of those, one or two barrels just opened up and killed all the fish in the general area. So, there's no way of knowing what actually kills the stuff in the ocean or in the Great Lakes, but one reason is that a nuclear power plant dumps 100% of its waste straight into the wash behind the submarine, and if a whale goes through that wash, or a whale is running parallel to the submarine and runs through the wash for one minute, maybe one hour, one, one second, it could die. And that's, that's how those things work. So 95% enriched uranium in the size of a garbage pail, dumping 100% of the waste into the ocean, or 3% enriched uranium, the size of a house, and thousands of acres to house the nuclear material. And this is Rabbi Drew Bach giving it to you straight. There's no way of knowing these things. And the government is certainly not going to do a radiological reading behind a nuclear ca aircraft carrier or a submarine. Because, ladies and gentlemen, remember those straight things. One, if Mr. Malad's son, son would have looked like Trevon Martin, would be done now with better about break and Sun would be would be dead and also rim and the ark that they rode in on, baby. That's right. Oy vey and shalom. From Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines, baby. Clear skies. Which means they're dumping that new radiological waste type chemtrail that they started dumping on January 19th. Damn them all.